Like what you do, see me with the crew. I gotta get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. Sell a got If this content is entertaining or informative and helped you in any way, or if you have a video topic request about absolutely anything, send a donation to the Cash App or follow me on social media. Peace. Hey, it's Nate Almighty. Do me a favor. Before you watch the rest of this video, go ahead. Hit that bell, man. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, AKA the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. With another New York State prison story, I'm gonna explain to y'all how it was winter 2009. I already have my conditional release date. I'm in Green Correctional. They call me. To get moved I'm on my way home so I have to go to a place called Queensboro Correctional Facility which is in the city of New York but still technically a New York State prison prison facility but before I had to get there to spend what would be probably my final three months as an inmate a property of the state I had to go to a place called Ulster County, Ulster Correctional, where I faced grave, 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 inhumane conditions that luckily I survived from. This was winter 2009. I'm gonna explain to y'all the devastating inhumane conditions that I had to live with for about a month, okay? Now, mind you, this is wintertime 2009. This is Ulster County. This is upstate New York somewhere. This is in the mountains somewhere. In the mountains somewhere. So everyone knows that if it's cold outside, plus you in the mountains, it's even colder. So we talking about, we talking about negative degree weather. Negative degree weather, winter time. Freezing, brisk cold. But here's the daily routine. They wake you up every single morning. You don't have an option of whether you have to leave your dorm and go to child three times a day. Cause period, everyone leaves and goes to child three times a day. But like I said, this is the winter time. So picture you having to live like this cause this is exactly how we had to live, okay? So one, you in a transitional place. So. All your real stuff is not with you. So all we have is our state greens, toothbrush, washcloth, cheap, 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 dry ass, dry ass cold craft soap, right? No Vaseline, no lotion, no chapstick. Soap, water, winter time. The thinnest flight jacket type of jackets you could think of. You could think of, and I'm talking about, I don't remember we even had the green sweaters to go with the state greens. So you got the state greens, right? The pants, no long johns, nothing under that. You got the boots, cheap, cheap, cheap black boots, freezing, middle of the winter time, five in the morning, breakfast. Like I said, no sweater. So now you got the cheap, thin green flight jacket. Over um over your button up green shirt, no hats, no scarves, no mittens, just your face in the wintertime. It's cold, it's cold enough to where if somebody slapped you in your face real hard, you'll probably start bleeding. You'll probably start bleeding. These were the grave conditions we had to go through every single morning every single day waking up. And mind you, I'm black and I'm dark skinned. So you know how, how black people feel about moisturizing their skin and not being ashy. Like the only people who wasn't having a problem was the white people. I'm talking about every single black person was complaining about how it was no Vaseline, no lotion, no bacitration, no cocoa butter, no shea butter, just core craft soap and water. So. For some reason with me, 
my face gets super duper duper dry. And when my face get real dry, my lips get real chapped. So I don't know if anyone ever had this problem with chapped lips, but if you keep licking it, right? You keep licking it and you don't put like no Vaseline or no lip balm over it to treat it, you'll start getting like, it'll start being dry and start getting cracked up and you'll notice like a dark like ring either coming all around your mouth or under your bottom lip. I start having this dark ass ring going over my shit for never being able to moisturize my face, put chapstick or Vaseline or lotion on my face, just waking up, washing my face, brushing my teeth, going outside in like negative 30 degree weather and then having to walk five to 10 minutes from my dorm all the way to the mess hall in a unison, in a group, one after another. Torture, 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 slave conditions. I had to deal with that for about one month. Freezing cold every single day during the winter and it did not let up. Some of these days while we walking, it's snowing. Some of these, some of these days it's already snowing when you come outside. So brick, freezing brick, and they would not let you put on no like, like anything that's not a jacket, a stay green shirt, stay green pants. They wasn't letting you put on two pairs of pants. I'm not even sure we had two pairs of pants. I believe we had probably one pair of pants, two, three shirts, two, three undershirts, two, three pairs of drawers, two, three pairs of socks, just thugging it every day. Ugly, black, ashy, ring around my mouth, STD looking mouth, harsh, 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 humane, inhumane conditions. But what got me through was knowing that in under six months, a nigga was about to go home and get some pussy. Like, share, comment, subscribe. That was my story. Peace.